Hey guys, I'm back with another video on the Fluval Evo 13.5 But today isn't going to be um, an update or a care guide video It's going to be slightly different today I'm going to be going through all my maintenance that I do So I guess it's to do with the tank So it's pretty much maintenance on a, on a nano roof tank um, I'm going to be going through what I do Water changes, um, nitrates, cleaning the glass and I'm going to cover all my maintenance and I'm going to try and do it under 10 minutes, but that's going to be a challenge. Uh, so let's jump right in, because I don't want this video to be too long. So let's start off with what takes the longest, water changes, that takes the longest. Um, I'm doing water changes once a week at the moment, because my tank isn't, in the next month or so it might stabilise, so I won't have to do water changes as often or as much. The my nitrates currently at two or three, so I'm actually doing a water change Sunday, today's Friday, so that's two more days. I need to do a water change, probably be 10 litre or 20 litre. Every now and again I'll do a 20 litre water change, which on this tank is 40-45%, so that reduces it my nitrates by, well, 40-45%. Uh, so if they're currently at like three, they'll go down to like one or two or so. But I think I might only need to do a 10 litre water change this week because last week I did 20 litre water change and I don't need my nitrates to go too low as well because corals they need um they, they they're going to be eating that nitrate down as well um and they need that to survive and start thriving but I also don't want them too high because this pulse coral if you give that what if your nitrates are at like what, 10 10 plus that will go mad it's colour might dull it a little bit, it's not going to be as pink, especially this type, this is the, the nice pink type, it might go a tiny bit more paler and it's going to grow loads as well, like really quickly because um, they like loads of those nutrients to feed off and then they'll just be, they'll, they'll be mad and I don't want that pulse scroll everywhere, I just want like a nice little ball of it on that rock so water changes once a week, about 10 litres, sometimes 20 litres um, they take about 10 20 minutes, but what I usually do is I get a 20 litre bucket, fill that up, salt, and then I've got a little pump in there and a heater heated to the temp, which is around 26 degrees, um, and the salinity at 35 parts per thousand that's what it is in the tank as well 35 pbt, um, and pour it in sometimes 10, sometimes 20. Um, and yeah, quick and easy, 10, 20 minutes, takes 20 minutes tops. Um, and then once a month, I will go through the filtration, which is, well, I have to take that rear lid off, get everything out, which is all the sponges, the bar home, um, the pumps I will take out, um, and I'll, I'll get like a brush or something, and just scrub all um, a, a slime, the a slime coat that would build up in there. But... Um, I've actually never cleaned this 300 pump out, which has been in there for a, a month at least. Um, so that might that might not even be that dirty. I don't know. Um, I also I'd say once every actually I, this is another thing I do weekly, and that's my return uh, my return nozzles. I got a dual outlet nozzles, which is oh, I have to take off the tripod. Which is right there, those two nozzles there, um, they where well, you can see kind of the little bit browny green. Um, and same on here, I have to just get a little brush and just brush it all off, make sure all the algae is off it. Because that does build up quite quickly. Um, ow. Um, diatoms, are, well, aside from the sand, I hardly ever do now. I did that, I don't think I only did that once, actually, if I ever done it no I've, i think i've only done that once because i've through the sand because i hardly get any diatoms now as you can see it sounds nice and white pretty much no diatoms was where's that con she's in these this side he's constantly eating them and yeah I, just, I don't really have that many but my dad has quite a, uh, he's got quite a few in his tank at the moment he's kind of got a little diatom explosion which will last about two weeks last about two weeks for me um yeah, go check his channel out, Nathan Willard, it's called. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. So go check his uh, channel out and his tank. It's really cool. Um, 
yeah uh, another thing that i do which well not it's, this isn't a weekly thing this is more like a daily thing and it's actually quite annoying and that's i get a little bit of t kitchen roll and i go all around the room the glass and that's because of salt creep when i had um this is it i think yeah, well, this this is a little piece that was that comes with a tank, and then you put that on the overflow bit right there. So it acts as a surface skimmer pretty much. Uh, it gets a little bit of sur surface scum, but I hardly got any of that. Um, and well, it's just the way that I got those outlet nozzles pointed uh, away, so it kind of flow kind of circles round, which you can kind of see. It goes around here in circles, so I hardly get any surface scum, it's all getting pushed down here. Um, so, and this also raises the water line as well, um, so I get quite a bit of salt creep. Actually, yeah, quite a bit. It, it was coming down to like right here, so it started dripping down on that. Uh, yeah, it was just really annoying, I didn't even need it in there. So I took that out, I still get a little bit in there, but it's just, it's not as much now. So that's a daily thing. I just go around the rim of there and you get rid of all, the, all that salt. Um, talk about glass. Let's go on the whole glass topic then. Uh, this is the Tunsey Care Magnet. It's I do this what, once every, well, probably an every other day thing. Turn it sideways and then I go over the whole glass once um, because my nitrates, as I just, well, as I just said, my nitrates are about two or three. But, which isn't that high, but it's enough to keep my night um, the uh, little film of green on the inside of the glass. So that's why I have to do that every other day or so. Sometimes, sometimes, but rarely daily. Um, yeah, and also use kitchen roll before I go over the glass because I don't just to get even a tiny little grain of salt on the glass, and I go over that magnet, it could start, you know, scratching the glass and that. So, just use that. Talking about salt, there's salt right there as well. Um, little, little bit of salt there. Just go over the whole tank, make sure there's no salt or anything on it. I need little drips or something. Just before I go, uh, go over the glass, that's again, that's probably an every, every, every other day thing. Well, every, whenever I do my glass cleaning. Um, yeah, that's that's the glass. I also well, I also use this kitchen roll for going over the lid. Was I top the tank off, which I'll get top in top of the tank off in just a minute. Um, yeah, it was when I top the tank off, I do it through this little feeding hole here, um, and sometimes I miss and it goes all over here. So I just get a little bit of that and go through here over the lid. There's a little bit of dust sometimes collects on there after about a week or so. Um, actually, there's a bit of salt there, it's, it's like it's warm as well. Um, yeah, that's what I use kitchen roll for, which is quite important. I've actually got, what have I got? I've got a whole little roll of it somewhere. It's in it. There it is. I've got a whole roll of it just to, so that comes in handy when I need it. Um, yeah, moving on to filter floss. Filter floss pad, which is right there. That's what I use for my filtration. That's my first, very first stage of filtration. So water's going to go down there and it's going to hit the filter floss pad so everything gets trapped there any little bits of um waste or anything gets trapped nothing can get through that it's very thin actually i've got a whole stash of them here look i've got about 20 of them here about they're all about that thick uh, about that that big all cuts are sized perfectly so it all fits square on in there nice and snug it's about to go too big and too small because you don't bits missing there but there's still a sponge underneath there anyway that's getting changed out. Well, I've accidentally, I've accidentally gone five days, um, which is the longest time that it's lasted. Well, the, I've I've changed this out now. I've changed this out about half an hour ago. It it lasts about four five days. Well, maximum I'll go is four days, but three to four days, I changed that out. It was sometimes a little bit of food gets trapped on that pad, and then it starts breaking down into nitrate, and then I don't want that. So that's changed out every three, four days. Um, topping up the tank, that's been done. I, I've done that today as well. That's the water line at the moment. That's what I'm keeping it at. So it's a little bit over that 
um, the little overflow grates there, tiny bit over there. Uh, when it reaches about here, I top it up about a centimetre. So it's a centimetre once every five, five, about five days, or well, sometimes it can go a week. Uh, and it's only a tiny bit, it's about 100 mil tops, 200. Um, just of RO water, obviously. Um, yeah, really quick and easy to do. Take about one minute. Just top tank off. Make sure it's all, it's all good. Um, is uh, and that's pretty much all. I think I've covered all the maintenance that I do in this tank. Which I'm just gonna go through everything really quickly a day. Well, really quickly just now. Uh, this pad getting changed out three four days. Glass cleaning. This every other day I. Get a little bit of kitchen roll, go over the whole glass, uh, and then after that, I go over the, with the magnets, get all the algae off. Um, once a week is water change, 10 20 litres, takes about 10 20, me um, 20 minutes. Um, and then once a month or so, all this filtration compartment will all be out, and then that will all be cleaned out and sorted out. All sponges cleaned, by home cleaned, and you know, all that little bits. Um, and yeah, top of the tank off, you know, little, little, little bits, of, well, little bits and bobs that I do with the tank, but really simple to do, really quick to do. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great little tank, really easy maintenance. So I guess that'll do it for this video. Um, me tr trying to keep the video under 10 minutes has been unsuccessful mission failed i didn't i didn't do that because we've just hit 12 minutes now um but yeah you'll see me in a week with i'm saying i'm 80 percent sure i'll have another coral in here i'm not gonna say what i'm just gonna all i'm gonna say is it's got to do with that gsp and something else so um you'll find out in a week probably um so yeah Hope you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and yeah, see you then. Bye.